alright guys, Ash here, bring you another Ashes trading guide. And as you all remember, this series is just based on me giving some trading tips. And for quite a while, I really haven't had any trading tips to really talk about. But now I'm going to talk about an informed trading method. So, the game plan background is me searching for some informs. You'll see that I don't actually have enough to bid on any informs because I had a team and uh, I had some people selling. But I essentially watched this most, the majority of them are actually interested in getting. It wasn't really the best of diet times in the day to show you, but you get like you will get the idea when I'm talking about it. But anyway, let's get into like the steps really needed for this like kind of method to work. So first off, the things you got to type in the criteria is gold, and then go for the good formations: four one two one two, four four two, or four three three three. I mean four three three, and then go up, put minimum price. 7,000 maximum price, how much you want to look for informs like 30, 40k, I'm going to put 17k because so normally I like to trade with informs worth less than 20k just to get a couple of them instead of just going for one big inform but sometimes I might go for like more expensive informs but anyway you get the idea and then really go go through it, make sure you get to like when there's a minute or two minutes left on the player so you've got enough time to check how much it goes for Most, and then you got to make sure you look for something which looks like it's got it's a good deal or it's like started off at 150 or below like the discard price which is like 9.5k depending on the rating of the player and also you'll make sure to look at the league he's in as well if it's in a good league or it's like Brazilian or English or German or he's in Bundesliga and he's just got no buy now and he's on like 15k and he's started at like 10k that's normally a good deal guys and just go and make sure quick go and check quickly give yourself some time a minute two minutes just go and check quickly or have a web app open another account just search quickly and then work at the tax and then get to go a k below the tax price so let's say you got the player sells 20k obviously tax is k they that leads to 19k if you sold them for 20 you would actually get so then you want to try and get for 18k there guys try and make that k profit or get them less than that but don't make don't when you're doing this guys don't just instantly bid at 18k if it does go to 20k just make sure just kind of like Wait your time, and then when there's like 15 seconds left, just bid then because normally this is where like people, some people might even go off like their watches thinking they've got it, and then when they come back, see they've been out bidded, so then it's, it'd be too late for them. So I would recommend doing that, guys. Bid when there's like 50 seconds left. Make sure you don't get into a massive bidding war, guys. Might just like basically buy your time, wait till there's like five seconds left because sometimes people will price bump, which means they will bid like 100k instantly on a player, and you might actually press A and bid 101k, and they've just won loads of money off you. So don't fall for that, guys. So make sure to kind of buy your time and just wait for like it to kind of die down if there is a bidding war, and wait for like five seconds. Make sure you're actually still making profit as well. So Anyway guys, if you like this trading method, if you did, please leave a like, leave a feedback in the comments as always, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already guys, anyway, have a nice day.